Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Renata. In today's video, I'm very excited to bring to you week two of my 2021 Spring Sewing Color Series. Last week, I launched it with my first video where we talked a lot about illuminating and ultimate gray, which is the color of the year and the secondary color which is illuminating. I also shared my thoughts regarding the other colors in that first color harmony, but today we get to tackle a beautiful color combination. This is one of my favorite sort of colors. They're more on the pastel side and I just love pastels, especially purples, so that lavender color. So. In this video, you guys be prepared for beautiful, feminine, romantic, Victorian style. Meet me in the next clip where I dive into each color. Now, before I start dicing away each color, let me tell you that these color put me in an exciting new beginning mood. I feel like these colors represent new life and rebirth. Here are the colors that we're going to take a look at today. Lead Crystal, Lavender, Prism Pink, and Placid Blue. Sorry about that. So those are the colors that we're going to tackle today. Before we get to there, let me just do a little uh, readout of the Enlightenment set. Evocative of a hypnotic space that expands our mind into another realm, the youthful and future-facing color story in Enlightenment stimulates our desire to reimagine. And I have to say that's pretty much where my mind went. When I saw the the colors that were part of today's harmony set, I felt like it represents rebirth. I know it says reimagine, but I felt like it represents new life. The colors, as you guys could see, it's it, it takes me to Easter and those shades that you you see the Easter Bunny use, you know, they're, they're like these really nice light pinks and the yellows and the blue. So I went into um, a mindset of new life and I envisioned a flowers, a bud, you know, coming to life and just unfolding. That's what I thought when I saw this color set. Let's take a look at some of my Pinterest inspirations. I believe I have seven. The first one is basically all the colors in one fabric. Initially, this is exactly what I was looking for. And typically, you would think of all these colors as a floral palette. But what I came up with in my mind, and I was so glad that I found it on the fabric, was more of a, a checkered or um, a plaid styling of fabric. And this dress totally took everything that I was thinking about in my mind. And it just slapped me in the face when I scroll, was scrolling through and I was like, that is exactly what I, I'm thinking of. So these colors do make me feel very romantic as well. But I feel like you also want to have um, some structure, a little edginess, nothing too hard, but just a little tad. Like it doesn't mean you're pushover because you like these beautiful pink colors and you're not squishy. It just makes everyone knows that, you know, yeah, I got strong lines. We got this covered. <laughs> So when I saw that, that's what I wanted. I wanted a, a plaid color that encapsulated all these beautiful colors in it to make a fantastic dress and I found it. So this dress definitely means enlightenment and I hope that it gives you a little idea of the path that we're gonna take down for today's video. 
let's meet in the next clip where we go through some Pinterest inspirations. Okay, so before that was like the anchor color and the anchor photo that I found. These six are just inspiration to help you guys figure out what colors work for you. This is just like, for me, in my mind right now, what I'm thinking about these Pinterest pieces are other patterns, the lines, the silhouettes that I want to work with. Definitely a feminine silhouette. So I am looking for things like Victorian style, lace, flounces, ruffles, gathers. That is what I'm feeling and that is why I pull these pieces out. One, two, and three. These are all very flirtatious dresses. They're just so happy and I love them. It just gets me excited and I just want to get in my room and start sewing. But let's not stop there. The fourth one, this is a little more fashion forward. Not everyone may like it. Not, not everyone may like the two pieces, but you might like one. I am thinking more of the structure. I like that sleeve. I like that wide silhouette down below. Uh, it's not typical. I mean, it's not easy to walk with that kind of thing. I mean, if you have to travel, you don't want that. But maybe if you're driving, yes, or you're going to somewhere special. I just think that it, it just gives you a little ideas of different things you can do. It doesn't even have to be that length. Just looking for silhouettes and designs. So these are the pieces that really got me thinking about what colors that I want to work with, what um, designs I want to work with. Like this fifth one here, It the way the model is, you would think that she's just lounging around. I like the material that's used on these. It's very soft. It just makes me feel excited. I want to be cozy, but still beautiful, still feminine. And I think these pieces definitely speak that to me. The last one is similar to the the ba Bacaloo or Bacaloo. Somebody help me. <laughs> By Nina Lee. This one definitely gives that sort of vibes but I like it and I'm thinking about the different colors and how they would work well in designs like this and I, I envision places that I'll be going and things that I'll be doing and then that's kind of how the whole color thing works for me. So hopefully that gives you a little insight into my mind and how I operate. Let's jump into each color individually and what inspirations really got me invigorated and then after that we'll look at some pattern possibilities. I have a lot for you, I mean I get through all of them in this video but they will definitely be on the blog. Alright, first up we have Lead Crystal. Let's take a moment and <sighs> I like this color, I like grey. It, some may say it's gray and it's no fun, but I think gray definitely gives you the ability to work with other pieces in your wardrobe to create that spectacular piece. And that is what I'm thinking about for this color. Lace, tops, blouses is exactly what I'm envisioning. Typically, the gray might not be everyone's favorite, but it helps your outfit. There is like this palette, this blank canvas actually, that you can work with. And I feel like a lace blouse would look beautiful, especially if it's like a fitted one, kind of like the Erica by Style So Me, in gray lace with a high-waisted, Just envision this beautiful lace top with um, a belt that is so strong in color and dark wash jeans. The outfit is going to be perfect. It's, it's just going to be awesome. All right, 
let me take you to three inspiration pieces that I really, really love for this gray. And I'm telling you, it would look amazing with jeans. The first one is this peasant style blouse. I love this blouse. It is so pretty. I like all the details on it. I think it's so romantic. It's very beautiful. Like all three of these that you guys are going to see. The neckline on this one is amazing. I love the elasticized neckline. I like the, the sleeve detail, which reminds me of the, the Park Lane by Nina Lee. And the same for the third one. So now that you see all three of them, just imagine this in gray. How pretty would it be, especially with that dark wash jeans and that really awesome brown cognac leather color belt. It would just make an amazing outfit. So that is where my mind is at for this lead crystal color and I just really like it. I also like it in lace. Like I said in my previous video that um, in a lace dress, it would look amazing. Next up is the lavender color. One of my favorite colors in the world, even though I try not to like it, somehow my cupboard ends up having tons of lavender, lilacs, and purple color. I just feel like, because I know a lot of people like lavender, I don't want to. I like being a little bit different. I like to wear different things. I like to uh, just, just be my own me and sometimes when a lot of people are doing something I just don't want to do it because I want to stand out for my individual style. The pieces that work for this color and like I said this color just makes me feel a little more happy. I'm always happier when I look at this color. It's just because it's that favorite color of mine. I think that's why it does it. Dresses. I like to see it in dresses. I have yet to make a lavender, lila, whatever blouse. I've made a dress or two, but never a specific blouse. But these four dresses would look spectacular in lilac. So. First up, super ruffly, a lot of flounces. I, I just think this is really cool. I like the cutout shoulders. I'm wearing one right now. But the detail that I really like and which is striking to me and I never realized that I didn't do often is having a contrasting hem on lace. I'm sure this one probably is attached and is made like this, but just thinking for a future project, it would be nice to, you know, add a contrast in lace to an already fantastic lace piece. That would be really cool and it would look beautiful. The second one is this all purple, I believe it's a skirt and a blouse. This pussy bow blouse is really pretty. I like the pleats. We have access to so many pussy bow blouses in the sewing community. It's, it won't be really hard to find something similar to this if you are interested in the pattern. Fourth, I'm jumping. I forgot how to count. Thirdly, <laughs> this third dress here is really pretty. I love this print. I think it is just so gorgeous. I have never seen a print like that. It's just really pretty. And now that I'm really, really looking at it, do you know what it is? It's a bunch of letter E's. Yeah, I never seen a print like that before. It's just a bunch of letter E's in white on a purple background. It's so amazing. How embarrassing. <laughs> but anyway, I really like it. I think it looks really nice because at first I didn't realize that it was ease, but apparently it is ease. So, <laughs> but really what um what's really calling my attention is the the gathered detail along the waistline and how it just travels up to the neckline and travels down again. That sort of ruching detail is very cool. And I love the sleeves on this piece. What also is really good about this is the fabric. The fabric definitely gives the, the drape. So if it's a nice, soft, silky fabric, it's going to look amazing. 
but with all these gathers and the ruching it's just going to be super beautiful as always you guys know i love to pair my dresses with heels because that just adds to the femininity the fourth one like i said lace 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 is cool and then they had the contrast in bow which is beautiful so these four are just pieces that i think would work well for the lilac color but you know do what you want do you because in the end of because at the end of the day who needs to be happy you and those that surround you all right let's move into prism pink this one i like next up is prism pink this color really reminds me of structured lines and countryside cottage sort of style i wish i had said in my blog that it also works great with tops and bodices because i can totally see this in the myrtle which is the mccall's newest pattern for their spring their early spring collection and i think that that blouse is just amazing it would look so fantastic so beautiful just so breathtaking in this color this is perfect for tops it's so striking it's such a wow factor um it just looks good it, it's a really pretty color and don't feel like it's pink i probably don't look good in pink because of my my skin tone or the color of my hair or anything like that because you don't always have to go with this exact shade of pink you can go with something a little different that works better for you as always if you like a color uh, go for it don't let anything hold you back because you look fabulous as long as you've got that smile on you it will work all right i found this beautiful sweater online and i think it's amazing because i like the detail of the sleeve if you really notice this sleeve it does start off um, kind of like a bishop sleeve but then it really inst almost instantly starts to taper to the wrist so that's beautiful the next inspiration which kind of ties into my cottage sort of style is this beautiful skirt from Dolce & Gabbana. This is definitely an inspiration piece but I love how they have paired it with a nice chunky knit sweater. Something that we all can relate to. Feeling warm and cozy. The next inspiration is this, um, this suit. This short sh suit. And I really was thinking more on like a tuxedo style short suit in pink. I think that would look really great. It's kind of masculine, but you're using this feminine color and you're just totally killing it with your heels and your shorts. I like this one. I think it would look good. Somebody should make it. Next up is this amazing sleeved bodice. And I, I was looking for like square necks on my search. I wanted... Um, a standout square neck and this is what popped up so the sleeves are really statement sleeves they're just big but they don't get in the way and I think that's positive most of the time when you find any sort of statement sleeves they tend to be right down at your wrist and if you're doing anything they get in the way and that that just frustrates me so this is a really good statement sleeve but if you are like me and you sew you could totally just adjust any pattern to work for you finally i have this really pretty dress that i thought was amazing and i just wanted to share it with someone so here i am sharing it with you i like the detail even though this is really a simple dress the things that they did on the dress to create the uh, direction the eye goes to are really pretty and it just makes it look a little bit fashion forward but this is a good color for this dress i can actually see it in black and white or any of the colors in the color harmony of enlightenment let next up is placid blue hold me back guys i like this color it's so fantastic it's definitely a winner in my book this shade 
is surprisingly versatile. You can use it with red, pink, white. I mean, it really works with all the colors in the color set and outside. I think it's really beautiful and this dress definitely shows you how versatile it is. As you can see, this the base color is pretty similar to the placid blue, but then they have these red lips on it. So it's you guys could see it works well with pretty much any any color. And that's shocking for a blue that's so light. You know, I would I would more think like an indigo would go with pretty much anything because it's got that sort of dark base. But this one does too, so that's that's really good. Let's look at some of the other inspirations that I have found. This dress, it's me. That's me. I love it. I really, really, really like this dress. I love the the models, the whole the, like her whole attitude. I like that. So everything about this, I like. I like the shoes. Somebody please find that shoes for me. I love the the belt, which is definitely, I think it's kind of cognac. Now cognac is a little brighter than that, but that belt is beautiful. I like how she's tied it in. She, but mainly the, the marketing team tied it in that it just, brings out the dress, those little pieces, those small details definitely bring out your outfit and the color more than anything else. So this shirt dress, I love it. I love how it looks. It's got the right amount of fullness on the skirt, but the fabric is soft enough to sway. So that, uh, that whole dress does not look heavy one bit and I like it. Also, these are other options that will look amazing in this placid blue. Look at this suit. I like her little headband. I think it's such a soft outfit and it just looks amazing. The next dress reminds me again of the Style So Me's newest pattern, but not the Giselle. I can't remember the name. This sort of gives me a feel to her pattern there. And this beautiful blouse. I know that Birder Style has um, a top similar to this and if I do find it I will leave it linked in the description below. But I like how this outfit looks and just picture it with that blue and probably a dark belt how it will pop. And finally we were talking about the indigo, right? How it's so versatile. But now look, the placid blue would look amazing with indigo based on this inspiration. So I just love how this whole thing turned out. I am excited and overjoyed to share with you now a pattern possibility time. First up, we have the assembly line. They have this a multi sleeve pattern and I really like it. I think it's worth every penny because you are getting, I believe, three different sleeves and they are completely different sleeves. They look amazing and you get to experiment with it, work with it without actually buying three patterns. So I think this one is definitely a win-win for you. Next, I have this simplicity pattern. I like the lines of this simplicity pattern and based on the fabric that you choose, it's gonna look amazing. Look for something with really nice soft drape and this is going to be beautiful. <laughs> Next up is this red one. This one I've never seen before and I've fallen in love with it. So the next time there is a patent sale going on, I'm going to pick this up and attempt it. I haven't sewn with simplicity for a few years now, so that would probably be my challenge for this year. Next up is this simplicity dress. This one it's just a relaxed sort of design, but I feel like the detail on the waist looks really cool. And I like the neckline as well. The gathering work looks really good. On to some of my favorite Vogue patterns, I think would look really good in probably lilac, is this first one here. The details on the back are amazing. 
I like the, the front design as well. I'm not sure how skilled I am to create this, but I have been ogling this pattern for a few years now, yet here I am sharing it with you today because I think it would look really good in that crimson pink or the placid blue. I recently did a scroll for halter tops and halter dress and this Vogue pattern popped up. I like this one. I'm just not sure I have the confidence to wear this. I don't know. It's really a cool design. I like it. I think it would look really good. I just need to gain the, um, the confidence and strength to wear it if I make it. The third Vogue pattern here. This would look really, really good. I know we're not the in the illuminating section but it would look really good in illuminating and if you can make the color in white or just kind of color block certain areas this would look really cool in that color but i'm definitely seeing it in the lilac this would look really good in the lilac i have a few more vogues yes i kind of went vogue crazy here this was the initial halter dress that i was thinking up for the the lilac or I keep saying lilac, but I mean for the lavender. This was the original pattern that I thought of when I was looking for something similar to match the very first inspiration that I shared. This sec, uh, what number am I on? This is the fifth Vogue I'm sharing here. This is the most recent pattern for, I think, winter. I like the lines of this. I know you can't really see it, but if you look at the line drawing, it's a very pretty dress. I like the length, and I think it would look amazing in any one of the colors we chat about today. The next Vogue, the next Vogue dress is really, really pretty. I like the sleeve details on this one. Obviously, this one is more of an evening style dress, so you might not want to make it. But I did think that if you are interested in this pattern, just, just extend it waist a little bit and make a blouse instead of this dress, because I like that detail off the top half of this. So don't just shut this one out because it's a dress and it looks pretty formal. The next three are McCall's patterns and I recently shared these on my early spring inspiration video. It's the one where I just kind of chatted about McCall's early spring and my first impressions of them. You can check that video out here. And lastly, I have some trouser options for you. They're all from Birder Style, but they are Birder Style one, um, 105 from the January 21 issue. And there is 120 from the August 29 issue and then style 113 from the April 2015 issue. The January issue, this one, I really like how this lays. I like it that it's really relaxed and I think it would look pretty good in lilac. Typically those colors are pretty light so you have to have a, a strong stomach to wear light colors as bottom half pieces because they they get stained really fast. They just get dirty fast. So <laughs> you have to really think about where you're going, what you're touching, where you're sitting. Do you have makeup on your hand? But I do think that they look good. Um, they look good on the bottom half. You just have to be really mindful about certain things you do. The jacquard trouser, this sort of pink, dusty, bottom one is really cool. It's got a nice detail down by the ankle. I think that's something that I may want to try. I hardly ever sew trousers, but it's because I'm dreadfully scared of having problems. I 
I rarely ever fit anything because most patterns fit me. And I, th I think my fear stems from the fact that I don't want to do adjustments, but I really do want to try making more trousers and one of these might work. I have made this culotte here back in 2015. That wasn't so bad. I think the reason I didn't like it was because I used the wrong material. I used a denim instead of a softer fabric, but it did turn out, it, it turned out good. It fit, it, it was fine. It's just that trouser trousers scare me, <laughs> even though I've made a jeans once before. So those are all the pattern possibilities for this color set. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. I, I hope that you continue watching this series. I believe I have three more sets to complete. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I will see you on another upload. Bye-bye.